Hey, people of the universe. How's it going? How y'all doing? Let me just pop my phone up somewhere. Now, usually when I do, when I decide to do a live, or whatnot, right? I don't, you know, I don't usually have a base of topic, you know, like, sometimes I just do a live, I just speak my mind if I feel. But a lot of the time I don't even feel doing live. Unless I'm with, uh, you know, talking with someone else or whatever, this conversation going. If I've got, if I've got, uh, material that just came to my mind, I titled it up there, as you can see, Armored Up, which I'll title down there. Um, we could speak on it. So this idea is just be coming in. And you're like, oh, we've got to speak like this. But a lot of the time it's like, it's like you don't even need to speak because it's it all it all it all the, the universe speaks for itself, doesn't it? Through silence, you hear the silent whispers. Through the silence, you hear you hear the moon. Through the through the rising, you feel the sun. Through the noise, through all the stuff, and all this stuff's going on. All this, all this. Uh, all these materials that we live around. <laughs> a lot of the time, we think we know it. But then there's so much to know, and there's so much to more know, and there's so much to know, and there's so much to know. So I'm like, holy Maloney. Hey, Calvin. Peace. Peace, my friend. Um, so, what's the whole, what's the whole point of, like, just taking a taking taking an idea from one source when there's plenty of sources out there, you know. Like I told my video armored up, so wearing all this jewelry, you know, and people just look at you and like, yeah, this is just jewelry. This is just fancy. It's just, you know, they don't know what why what is this? Like it just looks nice. Like what what's going on? But then. <laughs> Playing video games and just finding out different areas of research and just finding out different elements, you then start to realize then there's more to what we're wearing than we're actually just wearing. <laughs> Fucking insane. And it's uh, like, so back to what I was saying, like, so it's armored up. So you're protecting yourself from unwanted energies, right? So how does that work in our practical, right? So when we when we utilize this energy. How does it work practically? Well, we got, you know, we, we feel grounded to do something with that energy, right? But when you're opposed against, when you're opposed against millions, right? It's so much more difficult to move because everybody's contributing to one ideology or one source, if you like, expressed in so many different ways. So when you're trying to do shit, it's like, yeah, it's it's even more difficult to 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 to, to attain or to, to to get your hands on. Um, you know what I mean. So we've got to be able to. Yeah, I mean that's the best thing I like to do personally. When I do a live, I like to put these ideas across. I like to put my ideas out there because that's the best I can do. You know, but people want to fucking charade. They want to act that we don't have all these energies. They want to act like we don't Im imbue darkness. We don't imbue light. No. Don't fucking sit there and tell me, oh, it's all fucking light, and it's all fucking, oh, you saw, it's all, yeah, I know it's, I am, I, I understand that. But we've got to, we've got to confront ourselves, we've got to, we've got to balance those selves, we've got to grow. For, you know, we've got, we've got, to, we've got, to, we've got to juggle different emotions. So, when people just tell you shit, just to, just to appeal, just to try and appeal to the audience, and it's puts in categories, you, you're missing the whole fucking point. Because the whole the the whole of life is 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 an embodiment of all all ideas and all emotions, so I'm not going to sit here and gravitate to a few people, just talking quack, and just telling you this and that and the other. It's really nice ideas, right? But how can we use these ideas, right? Without being possessed a lot of the time, without being infiltrated with anxiety, fear, and all this shit, and all these emotions that just they just chain people. You know what I mean? They just put them on a fucking leech um so 
I'd be investing in crystals. I'd be investing in other options. The things that society don't tell you. I'd like to just understand it, know more about it. I mean, even if it's not, whether it's true or it's not true, it's just, it's just interesting. And yeah, like, you know, all this stuff that we see in games, all this, all this possessions, all this spirit shit, it's, it's fucking, they you know what I mean? It, it, it might not exist in the form that you see it in a game, because everything works around energy, right? But it exists. When you feel emotion, you feel that exists. It's an energy. Oh, it's an energy if you like. So, like, what the fuck? So we're having to wear this stuff to protect us. And I know it looks appealing, but it's also protection, right? That's what I. That's what I've the research or the things that I've seen on it. Now, whether you'd like to think it's satanic, well, so yeah. I mean, there's a lot of things that are embodied dark, being lured into dark areas, or sucking your energy. So you got to be careful. You got to watch out. You got to watch out what you're putting on your body. That's 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 the important thing, I guess. So not not to be gullible, but to sort of like just try it for you, try it for yourself. Like try, you, you know, try you you, you 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 know you're navigating yourself through this portal without having to slip. So you're just being so cautious of it at the same time, and that's what we're doing, you know. So hi, Emmy. I was gonna wave at you since you came in here. I waved at Calvin because he's he's coming in too. Um. So I'd, yeah, what's up, y'all? But yeah, like you know what I mean. So like. You know what I mean? D don't be confused with just what fucking people just are quacking, you know? Come up with your own ideas and just like, you know, let me give it a go. If it sounds too good to be true, that's when you when you actually start to, uh, yeah, bro. Absolutely. Yeah, man. Uh, you actually start to fucking dissect shit and fucking discern shit. Use your own intuition, right? But, um, yeah, it's what you take from all these images. So even as much as it's appealing and appealing, take the things that you want from it and utilize it in your advantage. Transmute it to your advantage. That's what I'd like to think of it. Because people just want to pull you in and it just it just like it just it just veils what we're supposed to be doing. It veils what we can be doing, like you know what I mean? Hey little feather, welcome in. Welcome in. Thanks thanks for joining y'all. I appreciate I appreciate you stopping in. Uh thank you very much. But no, honestly, just use what you take and just discern it. Discern everything you take, you know. Oh, oh, it's you know. I, I you know. What I mean, oh, oh, you're just walking around different opinions. You exist around different opinions. So take what you you take what you take from it, and you make it your reality. You know, don't don't be stuck. Don't be don't be stagnant in like you know what I mean. Protect yourself. I mean, fuck you know. I mean, I'm glad to be wearing this stuff because I know for sure when you go down the jewelry store, they'll just they'll just promote you silver or gold or just simple stuff. They don't tell you this. The benefits of copper. They're gonna. They don't tell you fucking shit. They don't tell you anything. And even if it's a lie, fucking so what? It's a different avenue. Hell, I'm more expo I'm, I'm more intended to. I'm more intent to explore different avenues than being sucked into fucking vacuums and black holes of bullshit that is just an opinion. Everything's based around an opinion. But it's the things that you take from it. But infinite blessings, absolutely infinite blessing. Yeah, absolutely. I'm wearing Jed, that's been in my family for centuries. Well, there you go, like, you know what I mean? Like, but we try not to get, be carried away by too many ideas. You know, we take things from history or certain ancient scriptures, right? So we can try and, uh, we can try and, uh, you know, do something with that, you know what I mean? But, I mean, it's practicality. It's practicality. It's like, what are we protecting our energies for, to do, to manifest? Because every time which when you try and move, we don't know, you know, we're moving unconsciously, a lot, you know, generally. We know we know as much knowledge as we know, but we're moving literally unconsciously. So we've got to be prepared. You know what I mean? That's why, I've, that's why I've been inspired to look at different avenues. You know what I mean? Now, I'm not suggesting, you know, people wear what they wear. People wear what they want to wear, you know what I mean? That's cool. But I've seen through various games, through various movies, through various art forms, I see, I, I, I see that people are... You know, you can t you can see the people that are stuck in stagnance, in the in the stagnant state. You can see it, right? But you but but you can't you you can't you can't convince them. You just have to be an example. You know what I mean? You just got to put the exact you know, and they got to they got to figure out themselves. Seriously, because you you can't you can't convince them. Oh, for sure. So it's like, you know. But if anyone wants to jump in, please feel free. Um, you know, thanks for joining, um, thanks for joining.
Um, Alvin, what's up, man? What's happening? What's happening, man? What do you what were you thinking of uh, the title? I mean, I just thought it, it just came it came to mind. I thought I'd like talk about it, you know, armored up or whatever. Yeah. Well, I like the title. I said, let me get armored up. Shit. See, you got your medallions on. Let me come on, dad. My copper medallion armor on. Shit. <laughs> I love the title. That's oh. my new. That's my new piece right here. I just created I this. Bro, I, I I can't even see you. Can you can see me? Can you see me? Can you see me? Nah, you know how they do. They take us out. Well, no worries. Like I said, after the lives, they usually show that. They'll show it anyway. So, you know, whether you want to enjoy it, come back, it's up to you. But it's all good. I can hear you, though. So that's the main can thing. Can, they, can everybody see us? Can you? Yo, in the chat, I just, uh, I'm going to ask you. Yo, can you see both of me and Calvin? Can you see us on your end? Because usually when we're streaming and we're on the lives, Sometimes it will lag, so we don't always see each other, or it'll black out. So just keep me updated, Feather. Let me know if you see, if you see us. Yeah, they see us. They see us, Calvin. Yeah. What's up? What's up? Yeah, I like the uh, title. I like the title. Uh, On the duck. It reminds Thanks, me. It reminds me of. Uh, it remind me of a game, because it's like. I know you like to make reference to those video games. Like I like to make reference to them too because it's a lot of it's a lot of resemblance. But um, mm. when I first came into here we go the spiritual community. When I first came into the spiritual community, it was like everybody had a, you know everybody was armored up. You know what I'm saying? It was like <laughs> I seen. <laughs> It was like I saw people uh, lusting over, like, the desire to just have, like, some type of armor. Like, they just, everybody wanted to be armored up. And it was like, it was like, uh, from a physical standpoint, it wasn't more so like, I want to get armored up because this these things are beneficial for me. Because I know the intelligence behind copper or crystals or like it wasn't like it wasn't because of that like it wasn't because of they was taking that type of interest it was like a look it was a fashion you know like you know just like right now like still to this day mm. i feel like i feel like there are certain things because you were speaking on this you were speaking on this the other day but you was just saying you were saying it in a different way but you was basically saying what I got out of it is that like, you know, in certain conversations, people do things to feel like accepted into those conversations if they don't have things to bring to the conversation. So I feel like that's what that's what some of us was doing. Some of us was really getting armored up mm. and putting it stuff on and enjoying the benefits of it while other people really wasn't understanding like the beneficial metaphysical properties behind it it was just like oh that's the look if i if i if i get that then i'll i'll, I'll get in to this to the spiritual community or mm -hmm. if i go outside and and meditate a couple of times i'll i'll fit in i'll, I'll sneak in or if i talk about eating plant-based or if i talk about, like it was just like certain stuff mm -hmm. that i seen people using Mm. as like the vantage point to just like get in get close to you you know how you always say like you know people just want to fucking use you and use your energy and you know mm. like <laughs> are you like you know what i'm saying like, i just feel like it was just that in a different way you know um because mm -hmm. when i when i was selling when i had first started selling jewelry i was talking to somebody that had bought some crystals I was talking to somebody and they was telling me that they, they experienced they said they had bought some uh they had bought some fluoride they had bought a crystal that was made that was all fluoride and they was mm -hmm. putting it on and they was wondering like 
why they kept feeling like drained, why they kept feeling down and sad all the time after he had purchased it. And uh, mm-hmm. he was telling me about this because here it was, like he was probably considering getting some more jewelry again, but mm-hmm. it wasn't just going to be for the look this time. You see what I'm saying? Because he didn't understand the properties that that floor rag carried that he was wearing. So that's why you really have to like know what the hell you're doing and stuff. Because you can get the wrong type of crystals and it can make you feel. Mm-hmm. Or you can, mix, you can mix certain crystals around other crystals that don't work well together and you can create like a... a you can create like a chart. I want to say it, an, an explosive. Mm-hmm. Um, you can create all type of shit uh, with the mm-hmm. wrong type of elements. That's just mm-hmm. like if you put bleach, if you put bleach and pneumonia, mm-hmm. um, you create a whole nother, you create a whole nother gas out of that. But by mm-hmm. itself, if you using them separate, keeping them in their own environment. You you can use it stable. Like everybody knows what bleach is, right? And ammonia, right? Mm, 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 mm. Pneumonia is the um, is it where you where you get the cold? Get really cold ammonia, or something? It, ammonia is like it is some um, it is a cleaning product. It is super strong. Oh, okay. Sorry, I thought you said pneumonia. Yeah. But, it, I mean, it's spelled the same way. You know, English is the only language, you know, that confuses you about that because, you, mm. you know, you got you got the same words for different meanings, but that's mm. what ammonia is. It's a chemical that people use to clean with. I don't know. Maybe y'all don't have access to it over there. I know how it is, but maybe y'all do. Maybe you might not have ever heard of it. But when you yeah. mix that, with, when you mix it with bleach, it mm. turns into like a super... It turns to a super gas. You know, uh, so okay. same thing happen with like somebody might be in some type of sad ass energy that brings out the sad the, the the sadness in some of these crystals and stones. So they're gonna work with your energy. It's people just putting this stuff on. They just wearing it. It's just like a fashion show. And they don't they not understanding, you know, like what this stuff do. Mm-hmm. Know how the way you feel and the energy you put into it, yeah. it uh, it complements the crystals. So, hey, whatever energy you on, that's that's what your 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 jewelry gonna be on. Like if I if I wear this these pieces right here, right, mm. and if I'm sitting here for a hundred live episodes, just arguing <laughs> with people, disagreeing with people, like. You know what I'm saying? This troll and all type of shit. It's gonna be downloaded inside this inside this jewelry. I know because when I was when I had first started and I would like have certain jewelry on sometimes, I would have to just make all new jewelry because I like it would make me feel a certain way. I'm like, damn. Oh, I know what it is. I didn't wear all that I didn't have this on for all these videos we done made, all this disagreeing and fucking back and forth with the spiritual community. I like, let me get rid of this. Or let me clean it. Let me go and burn it and transmute the energy that's on here. You know what I'm saying? Realign it. So I be having to do that sometimes. Like I like you see me wearing this right now, like when I when I like I said when I first came into this shit, I used to make a lot more jewelry because I had to switch it up a lot more. Yeah. I just have to yeah, I used to have to switch it up a lot more. Um, here goes another piece. I wanted to answer some questions. Uh, all right, a little further say, these outside armor help, uh, but uh, the most important armor is your heart soul. Another one is, that's all fine if they want to fit in, but I can see right through all that. I can see your aura. I can see your truth. Yeah, for sure. And then she's like the fluoride stuff as well. I think when you mentioned the fluoride. And then she says, sometimes the properties of one stone or crystal will cancel out the other one. You have to know which work together. Oh, well, absolutely. That's all That's all essential. Yeah, that's all definite. Uh, hello, Jane. What's up? What's happening? Thanks for everybody. Appreciate you commenting. Um, 
if, yeah, if you wanted to say anything on that, you can do. Uh, dang, my internet got glitchy. Me, oh, no, no, no worries. Yeah, if you got anything to say, you can go for it, uh, Calvin. I know you wanna. Um, no, I got some. I'm just showing some. I'm just some showing stuff. some tiger right now. I got some right. pyramids right here. I got this is a tiger's eye. Tiger's eye crystals in that pyramid. Yeah, I'm just showing a couple of pyramids, a couple of pieces. Yeah. Like the jewelry I got, like it's got like the stuff that it says about it. So I've got it in my drawer. But I thought I'd whack them on together. I'm wearing the golden obsidian on my right hand, but y'all can probably see it's my left on your end. And I got another um, protection here, which resembles this one a little bit, the Merc of a Star one. And my mum got me this, some sort of grounding chakra one. I'm not sure which grounding chakra. And I'm wearing the green, green hot uh, opal uh, jade necklace. I got my alien right here too. I'm working on my alien. Oh, you alien. got it. <laughs> alien. Nice. <laughs> alien, alien I'm working on. Right? What's I up, Black? What's happening, bro? What's happening, people? Thank you for joining, y'all. Appreciate you. Appreciate it, man. Um, but uh, yeah, that's that's it. So, like I said, it's absolutely. Little Feather said something about the knowing the ins and outs. I'm still learning, but, but uh, I trust to wear these together because this is for my boy York here for healing. He does really get good talks and chats, but he sells really good jewelry. So I got this and the uh, golden obsidian from him. This necklace I bought and this bracelet I bought from Brook Project Yourself. They got some nice stuff on there. But it's cool to combine stuff, but you've got to trust your source. I think that's where y'all are coming from, right? You've got to trust your source and where you're getting the source from. And look, is that where you're sort of, is that where you're coming out from? But, but obviously learning, learning more the ins and outs as well. So like, you know, just to make sure you know what you're wearing too. So I don't know. You just like to think that whatever you buy whatever you purchase if you if you trust the source and whatever and it works for you you're feeling peaceful i think that's a sign as well so always 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 pay attention to how something makes you feel as well that's another sign i don't know if that helps you all but that's that's what helps me you know uh, i don't know what you i don't know what you all think about that opal and jade work together i'm wearing both right now oh, okay Okay, well that's a good sign. I, I'm like I said, I'm still learning. This is all this is all a new new world for me, you know. Um, so I've still got a lot to learn, <laughs> you know. But I, I like I said, I had I had a I had a, a, a subject, and I said I'm going to talk on the subject because I see it all in fucking video. I see it all like this world out there is not going to fool me, man. I'm getting my sources from art because that tells you everything. I'm not going to I'm not going to believe the practitioners out there. I'm gonna take the tools, but I'm not gonna believe everything they're telling me. I'm gonna I'm gonna dissect shit myself. I'm gonna look at a game and look like, okay, this possession exists. And, well, okay, this guy's putting holy candles. So they always talk about holy candles and shit like that in priests, like exorcist films. But what about like the crystal protections? I mean, there's probably movies out there that talk about that. So it's like that shit is crazy. It's because it's like that's happening. Possession is happening in reality, but you just can't see it. That's that's where they trick you. But in a, in a game, in a film, they'll show you everything. That's how they're taking the piss out of us, if you like. Or they're taking the mickey, you know? Whilst trying to distract us from what we can be actually doing. Instead of just fucking talking. Because that's what, I mean, it's caught people up in this conversation. So when you go to you do practicality, it's non-existent. It just becomes a label at this point. Oh, this person's spiritual community, this person's a gangster, this person's this, this person's that. You start to deviate from what we're supposed to be doing on this planet with the information. Because they're just trying to overconfuse us. You know what I mean? I think you might have lagged out. Yeah, that, I just accepted you, Colin. I think you might have lagged out. So, I don't know what y'all think of that, but that's just another way of looking at it. I can see you now. I, I don't know if you can see me, Colin. I can see you. Yeah. For sure. What's up, bro? <laughs> Man, you know how I get, you know how I get, you get glitchy. Oh, for sure. I don't know if you missed out what I was saying, but I was saying that they're taking the piss out of us in art. They're taking the Mickey out of us through art. In in the in the fucking in the world out there, because they scare people so much. This just becomes a conversation, and it becomes like an enticing thing for people to listen to. So they forget about what they're supposed to be doing in the real world. 
So use this energy, but be practical about it. Use this energy, but, you know what I mean? Be sincere. Don't just fucking talk quack. You know what I mean? And forget about what we're supposed to be doing. We've got to balance shit, man. We've got to put shit in balance. You know, so when I say armored up, what do I mean? You're keeping yourself away from shit energy, right? Whilst you'll be able to manifest. That's what I take from it. Instead of just ideas and nothing with it. You know, I'm, it's about doing, okay, this is what it, protecting me from these sorts of energies. This is why, this is what I feel. This is why I'm wearing it. Because when I want to go and manifest, people are not like, like putting barriers. I mean, there's always, there's always going to be barriers, but you know what I mean? It just keeps the demons at bay. Does that make sense? So that's what they do in a game. When you put a holy candle down, it keeps the demons away. It keeps the bad energy away. That's that's what enticed me about this universe, you know, the crystal universe and these copper stuff. Because it's really in interesting, you know what I mean? It's really interesting. And it looks nice. So there's the bonus as well. You know, you get the best in both worlds, don't you? Um... Opal and Jade together work both. Yeah, going with the heart space and your two intuition, you will never go wrong. I've been working on stones and crystals as a child, so... Oh, okay, so that's been your thing long term. As it should uh, be used for your own discernment. Yeah, everyone is different. What might work for you, one person may not work for another. Exactly, we're all different, yeah. So even though we've got the organs, everything, everyone works different. Absolutely. I agree with yeah, you. Yeah, we did... I, we get that part. See, like, and that'd be a, that'd be a thing, too. Like, we mm. get that everything don't work for everybody. It's just, mm. like, just pull, just just eat the meat and leave the bones. Now, if you want to eat the bones, that's totally up to you. Like, we totally get that everybody don't eat bones and, you know, everybody don't like the gristle. Some do. So it's just about, like, nobody's trying to force or impose anything on anyone. We really just projecting we really just making our trajectory on what somebody can pick up off of if they want to come pick up off of it. Because when you look around you and you see everything that's being projected, it, it's like, oh, this is the shit that got us where we at. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, it's like mm -hmm. this is the shit that got us where we at. So I think, honestly, a lot of time people don't know what the fuck they need. They think they like they think they know what they need. But sometimes mm -hmm. you don't want to go into another direction because of the comfort. The com like I was just thinking about that for myself. Like, like maybe I need to, I maybe I got to get uncomfortable again and go off into another environment. I said because sometimes I think I just be in my comfort. You know what I'm saying? But when I get out of my comfort zone, that shit make me think. It make me explore. It make me have to use parts of my brain that I didn't, you know, that I don't use every day. So I, I think a lot, a lot of time, motherfuckers don't know what they need for real. Like people thought they needed a vaccination to fix their COVID problems. You feel me? Then come to find out, they start recalling that shit, talking about that was killing more people than than ever. Like I just don't think people really know what they need for real because they so lost and caught up in like the shit that's keeping you out of balance because a lot of time we think like oh if i get that i'll be okay i'll, I'll just want to sit in the house you know but sometimes this shit that's designed to soothe our energy it fucks our energy up. it put it out of whack even more mm. like i don't sometimes i don't think people really know like what they really need like, like for real, like honestly, cause I'll, I'll look at a person like I got an auntie that work her ass off. She worked a couple of jobs, and then she'll be sitting here, like complaining and bitching about stuff. And I'm just like, and like <laughs> in my mind, just observing from the outside. Although I know that everything don't work for everybody the same way, but I'm looking at how she running around. So I'm knowing that the shit that she been doing. Obviously, it ain't been working for her. So, as I'm observing her, I'm like, Auntie, you might need to, you know what I'm saying? Like, soothe your energy. You might need to do something different because that stuff ain't, it's not bringing you peace. It bring you money. It got your bills paid, but you stressing. Like, you got to recharge. You might need to go take a trip to Florida or California somewhere where you can get in the sun and 
be close to some fresher fruit and be outside because all of these environments that we be in we think they be good for us we think that that's the shit we supposed to be doing but at the same time it ain't doing nothing but fucking you up it's like when you see a commercial and they like well if you take this pill it'll get rid of migraines but mm. you gotta worry about all of these other side effects so we yeah. We run around chasing peace and really don't know what that shit is because we don't want to deal with like what like we don't want to deal with shit for real. Like like I be knowing sometimes like man I need to I need to fucking eat some fucking fruits and some vegetables. You know what I'm saying? But that's just me. That's me from looking at myself and saying, Well damn, this all this other shit ain't been working the whole time. So I might need to take heed to this new information that I just came across and try to apply it. Cause why the information drop into our ether? Cause cause it just it just dropped there? Or do we somehow manifest or desire or ask for that shit to come to us? You know what I'm saying? Like at some point we had to ask for that information. And we just might have forgot, like you know, you you forgot you asked for that, or you might ask for this, but all of this come with it. So that's like we gotta really be like in tune with shit, cause I be looking at stuff sometimes, and I be asking for like certain stuff to be taken away, and then when I see stuff happening to like make me to where I don't have to, you know, be so easily like manipulated to fall into like my uh, my temptations, I be getting mad. And then I hit, I be like, well, you know what? Well, I did say I wanted to stop doing this, so maybe that's why that's happening. Maybe that's why when I pull up to the weed spot, the weed is bammer. Then I go over here, they ain't got no weed. But seven days ago, you just said how much you want to quit smoking weed. You just said, baby, don't pass me no blunts. You just said, you just told everybody that you're trying to quit. So when the universe actually started making that shit work like that in your favor, you forget because you'd be like, damn, man, this is some bullshit. Then you got to you gotta sit there and be like, well, hold on. I did say I wanted to stop smoking. So the universe was just, it was just doing this work. That's all the fuck it was doing. So <laughs> I, I, I feel like that about like the spiritual community. When people be saying like, I want to be free. I'm sick of this. And da 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 da. It's like, okay, I hear y'all and I believe y'all, but you gotta, you gotta stop. You gotta learn how to not do this. You gotta stop doing that, cause that's the shit that's really gonna bring that peace that you're looking for. You, you like you like. It might be uncomfortable, my nigga. You might not want to go and ask your mama or your sister, hey, ma, can I? You know what I'm saying? Can I just pay you four hundred dollars for the next six months? Why, you know, get my shit together? Because I just don't want to go into this plant no more. I want to just work on, you know, stacking up my equipment for my landscaping and just taking in, you know, like whatever, whatever the fuck it might be. But it be people that be having so much pride to where they can never see themselves in their life. But they they tired of the same shit that I'm tired of. It's like. I get it. I'm not deni I'm not in denial of it, but can you do the same work? Or can you go through that sacrifice of removing yourself from the shit that you have became comfortable with? Like it's uncomfortable to re to remove yourself and let go of the shit that has got you to that comfortable place to where you feel like like damn, what else is it? Like I got it got to be more than this. It is more than this. But you got to unprogram you got to unprogram yourself from the from the programming. It's not that I'm, it's not that I'm not a, not present in in the shit that's going on. My mind is different. Like if you go back ten years, fifteen years, or whatever, the mindset I was in, I was miserable. I couldn't take this shit. I was ready to crash out. I was just all type of different things because of where my mind was at. I couldn't see shit. Now where I'm at, like. I can go I can go into them same environments that I couldn't mm. stomach at first cuz I'm in a different dimension. I'm looking at shit in a different you, you see what I mean like so it's a lot of people that just they do need shit that we we do need like 
we 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 do need shit in common. Just, let's just say that. It's just that everybody might not be at that place to where they recognize, like, oh, that's what I need. That's really what the fuck I need. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's so much shit I thought I needed. But when I actually, like for relationships, for instance, it was, it was like, I thought I liked a certain type of female, but it's like, okay, the curves is cute. You know what I'm saying? Having a nice body is cool. Having a cute face and being attractive, all that shit cool, right? Mm. But when I really found out, like, through experiencing and going through these relationships and being around like women and just exchanging energy, I found out like, oh, that's not what I need. That's not what the fuck I like or need. Like, I need a motherfucker to operate from the heart. Fuck, up. like, looks is cool, but like I say, like, where is your intelligence at? Where is your heart? Like, where is your decisions being made from? Are they being made from the emotions of what's conjuring up from being in your root? Or is it being made from the heart? Like, because some people make heart decisions and some people make root chakra decisions. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, unstable ass decisions and not going with what's really in their heart because pride won't allow. And then when you low in frequency, it's, it's harder to fight shit. You, when you on a lower frequency trying to come up on a, on a higher frequency, that's like you got more work. So the lower you go, you could be so fucking low to where you might know. The higher work that you got to put in, but you might just be like, man, fuck that shit. I'll wait till tomorrow or I'll just wait till I ain't got no choice but to. I done been there. I done been in places so many times where I was just like, fuck it. I knew the better way to go. And that's what I wanted. But I was so weak and, and just frequency, like the way I looked at shit, I was already eating like a fucking uh, monster. Like, like everything is... Everything is a war tool against us. So when I start figuring out, like, oh, we all should be getting some type of a motherfucking kickback because everybody is sitting around this bitch fucked up, drinking out of lead water pipes, drinking out of rusted water pipes, the, 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 the genetic food organisms. Like, ain't nobody on their right intelligence for real. So when I really started thinking about, like, I just started putting that shit into perspective. I was like, People are really like not operating or thinking at a at a place of intelligence because all of this shit, it it will like it will dumb you down. It does something to you. Like that's why I had to like really get away from it. It wasn't me watching no videos or nobody coming to me like, hey Calvin, you gotta change your it wasn't none of that that was going on. Like I was I started to like pay attention, like I started to really look into the shit myself, like, okay. I work too long. I work all day. I'm a contractor. I work long hours. And I was just sitting up because I was like thinking like, I don't really eat no, like, I'm, what am I? How am I surviving? That's what, it, like, it was just a self-reflecting day. I was like, how the fuck am I really surviving? Because I'm eating chips, candy, and fast food. I'm like, I'm not eating no greens or cabbage or yams or no onions and bell peppers. Like, I'm out here really surviving off of this shit for the last five, six years by the time I realized, like, I'm not even eating real food. So what does that say for my future? What does that say for, like, when you hit 30, going through your, like, nigga, you're going to be on pills by that time, just like the rest of your family around. You're going to be on five or six medications. Nigga, you're going to have cancer, just like everybody else in your family. So, like, I really looked at people around me and I was growing up in it, took that shit, took heed to that shit, like took them as an example. So it's not that I didn't, I always wanted to change my diet, but like when you bred into some shit, you got to unlearn that shit. So it could take your ass just as many years that it did for you to learn that shit. This is like if I got a pit bull right now and I trained him to be a, a fighter and I had him for 10 years and then you come and say, Calvin, let me adopt that dog. I want. I need a house pet. I need a great family dog. You hear me? <laughs> then I give you the I give you the pit bull, and then he killed a poodle. He killed the other family dog because he, he got to unlearn that shit. Like it, he he didn't want to do it. Like he just been so conditioned to where he he has to unlearn all that behavior. 
And it's not that he not trying. He tried not to shake up the poodle, but that nigga want nothing but a killer. So he got to learn how to, you feel me, still filter out that energy. And that's where we all come from. We all come from, a lot of us come from the dark side. Like, I come from the dark side. Mm. So I try to avoid going into that energy. Like, it's not necessary. I know where that energy is supposed to be used. I know the right time for that energy. It's not for, like, it's, it's not for nobody that's sitting on motherfucking none of these conversations. It's not for nobody around me in my neighborhood unless mm. unless they got an opposing energy that's compromising what I'm, like, what I'm in that atmosphere to do. Like, if it's not around me, I'm not responsible for responding to that shit. But if it's within my reach, I got to respond to it. Like, it'd be so many people out here. It's just like when you see a person um, beating up a woman or a motherfucker trying to kidnap a kid or what everybody do that's in that atmosphere that got power to do something. They sit there and record. They sit there and pull out their camera. Nobody goes and motherfucking be a help, be a leader. It's no leadership roles. You know what I'm saying? It's just, that's where we at, man. That's where we at. That's where we at in society, bro. Like, we just, we at a place where when you start to self-reflect and you think about the work that you even got to do, you would be like, nah, fuck that shit. I ain't ready for that. You might go through that for People can know shit, and they at the same time, you won't know that they know that they already know that they got to do this work. But they come on and act like they don't know shit. Or they come on and act like all of their problems is coming from some outside source, some outside opposition. But it's like, no, nah, that's 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 really not the that's really not the issue. Because when you really think about that shit, like when I think about it, like I used to do so much shit. Mm. I used to be, I used to do so much shit that wasn't that wasn't um, contributing to creating or rebuilding. I used to do shit that was adding to the corruption that was adding to tearing shit down that was adding to fucking with people's heart chakra like you feel me in a negative vibrating way so you know how like she called no she like was on there like he ran every time he want to run he want to like no bitch i don't want to run like I just, I don't want to give you that, I don't want to give you that energy because you ain't worth that energy. Like, you not, you, like, you not the, the target. You feel me? Like, I'm not, I don't have time to waste drama ass energy with people. You feel me? So that's why I be like, you know what? I'm out of here. I'm going to go over here because I'm dangerous with this mouth. I've been saying some shit that'll hurt your soul for the next 10 years. You feel me? So I just don't be want to do that. Because I already got a relationship with you way before all of these people that you're trying to sit here and put on for. So let's not forget where we at. Let's not forget who, who you're talking to. Like, I'm a person that have conversation with you outside of this. And just as you can go and tell people stuff, I got the conversa- I got the same conversation. So it's not like you could just put me in a, a place to where you just going to try to humiliate me. Cause I'm not about to say nothing to lead nobody on. I'm not about to ever say no shit to draw extra attention or none of that. So that's why, I like, I rather just exit if it's like, cause that ain't drama to me. That's you feel me like that. That's that's you want me to feed that energy. Like I don't know, I ain't doing that. Cause I don't even know you for one. Like we just we only met in the in the meta realm. So what's the point of giving me all that energy or me giving you all that energy? Like we dating, like we just got divorced. All that extra shit people be coming with, bro. That's why I be telling these niggas, man, I ain't got no beef with you. You ain't never did nothing to my son. You ain't never motherfucking spit on my mama. Nigga, you ain't never motherfucking stole nothing on my backyard. We on Instagram. The fuck? (laughs) (laughs) But, 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 bro. It's a math into my madness because I'm like, okay, if these weak ass niggas is really warriors, I'm gonna see if they can handle words and I'm gonna see if they can handle my energy. Why we in Instagram? Because 
Bitch, you couldn't be no warrior next to me if you sitting up there getting offended by how I'm coming on Instagram. And if we was out here on the land and we really had to take the opposition out, you would fold. A lot of these niggas would fold. Because mm. of the way you said, hey, grab that motherfucking rifle. Get that up. Nigga, they'd be ready to cry because you said, because you had to say that shit with some authority, Ferris. Because you ain't, because they didn't see the nigga coming. You might have to say that shit at a different tone. Hey, hey, motherfucker. Grab that motherfucker. You feel me? They're foe. Why you say it like that? <laughs> Man. Whole so motherfucking, nigga, the whole camp be dead. All because these motherfuckers is weak as fuck and they emotional little social media feelings. So it really is like, well, we can't spar with each other. We can't sit there and spar with each other and wrestle and just, you know what I'm saying, check a nigga energy. So we got to do it in other ways. And a lot of time, these people be folding. So I know mm -hmm. like, you know, like y'all ain't not, man, y'all not, y'all not motherfucking ready. Y'all is not ready like y'all say y'all is. Like I'd be a damn fool to be sitting up here acting anxious. Like I'm just ready for the system to shut down. Like I just yeah. never understood. Like, <laughs> like nigga, if anything, I'm trying to get as much as I motherfucking can and got. I try to do as much as I can while I can. While we still got motherfucking a cheat code. I call it the cheat code. We still got electricity. We still got clean water. We still got YouTube for free. We ain't got to pay. We still can learn all type of shit, but that shit ain't gonna last forever, man. So that's why I find abundance in that type of stuff. Like I've been able to learn so much shit off of YouTube, off of motherfucking Facebook, Instagram. Like I, I that's where I see abundance at. Cause I know how much school I had to go to. I know how much I had to go to school and sit there and burn up massive, countless hours just to learn one little fucking thing. I know how much how much uh, time it take just to like go out here before the Instagram, before Facebook, before YouTube. I know how much time it take took to go out here and try to figure out and learn other trades and learn other information on shit. But you got YouTube right at your fingertip. This shit, that shit kind of like, it should be speeding up our, our like our whole situation as far as like poverty and all of that shit. Connections and resources. We don't even use that shit for what it is, for what it's good for. We just use it to play with and play on. That's cool. But I be looking at all this shit like, man, this is a tool. We ain't, I ain't had this shit before the rock could just connect with a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, you had to go through all type of chat lines and motherfucking party lines and, like, you ain't even had this type of capability. But So I be looking at, like, how I can like, apply that shit. What's beneficial enough for me to apply that shit to, like, my life? Like, my lifestyle. Like, how can I apply this shit? Mm. Instead of just, like, making it like a toy you know what i mean like or or just coming on this bitch and just like trolling or just like scamming that's like if i was just telling people i sell some shit and then they send me their money and i disappear and create another page i could easily do that you know but it's like that ain't even my character i don't want to have multiple characters it's too much work bro people use this shit like it, it gives me like uh like look at Black Friday, right? That, that shit is the same thing. People want to see how much loot they can get. Oh look, you support me. Let me see how much loot I can get before this shit sheds down. So people think that they're they're, Im they're fucking immortal on this shit. They get, they think that this shit is like, oh, we can make a career out of this. We can whatever. Like, and I'm not doubting anyone. I'm not. I don't want to use my experience because I I've been getting shut down. So I don't want y'all to to give me up as an example. But I'm just saying. It's literally like Black Friday. Everyone sees how much revenue they can get, how much algorithm views they can get, right? Very self-destructive. But they, they don't tell you that. They don't tell you that. They just want you to idolize it. They want you to fucking pay attention to pointless shit. And I'm not, I'm not saying it's pointless if you're getting something out of it, but it's all just like, like Galvin said, it's a tool, but people just, it's, they're using it as like a loot transaction. Oh, I, I, let's see how much I can get uh, subscribers. Um, attention, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, 
And even the, the, the same day, they want to build a fucking nuclear a bunker in, in the UK. But you have to pay money for them. Like, everything is behind money. Why can't you just do it? Because of the survival of the planet. Right? So, yeah, we need the money to get around. But this shit, this shit could be AMP tomorrow. Then what are we going to do? Then I won't be able to have chat with Calvin. But, you know, but no, we need to use this stuff. Uh, we'll be doing look, some shit. So, yeah. Look, yeah. Bro. That shit just happened to me a, a couple of years ago. Like, literally. You know how we are? We, we keep saying this. Like, we keep saying, like, they had shut this shit down on us. So I had my podcast on Spotify Live. Mm. That's where my podcast, that's where I was hosting my podcast at two years ago. Mm. Last year, they just rechanged the whole fucking, the whole, every, they just rechanged the whole app. So all of those people that I have been building with, when I did go on there, we all disconnected now, all discombobulated. We gotta we gotta find each other some other type of way now. Because mm. a couple of people, we did exchange Instagrams, but everybody else, we was just there, just like hot right now. And then all of a sudden, mm. it started glitching. Like it started getting more glitchier, more and more glitchier. I'm like, okay. That's why I be saying, like, when Instagram be getting real glitchy. Like, okay, they they doing some work on the app. They getting ready to add or change some shit up. But that's what happened. Like, they they just changed the whole motherfucker up. And now it's called Spotify for podcasters. It's not even the same. It's not even the same shit no more. So, um, it's definitely we definitely gonna we definitely going into that to that direction to where it's going to be another platform sometime soon because Twitter ain't the same. So you got to think about it, bro. Like how many, that's like us going to school for all these months and years. Right. And we put all this time into going to school, getting this education, getting this career, whatever, whatever, just to go and get a job. That's going to be like against us in a sense. Like you go and you go and do all of this shit, and then you go work a job that's really gonna internally fuck you up because there's mm. no peace when you inside of a building all day, or you gonna work your body more than usual. In some type of way, you know that's usually what happens. You feel me when it comes down to it? At the end of the day, it's like mm. when you think about school. When you just when you think about this shit for what it is, and you just look at it for what it is. It can get real scary and spooky. <sighs> like we li we literally send our kids to school and then we go on about our day. We don't have a clue who these kids are around. We don't like you, you know, you see what I'm saying? Like we yeah. drop our kids off and be gone for eight hours, ten hours, won't see them no more. So when we look at like why like how are these kids coming up missing? How all this rape, how all of this shit, because we still, we feeding into and buying into systems that really sets up, sets us up for more of that to happen. Indoctrination, we didn't know, we do now. Uh, what else did you say? This system isn't so for success. Well, yeah, exactly. So you all know the deal, but the thing is, people are just going to go out there and just act like this shit is for everybody. Because you know what? Everything I've done so far in my life, even growing up uh, in a privileged family household, right? That's why I'm grateful. But I tried, you know, did, left school at the last year. I, I did a few jobs, right? Tried for the Air Force. You know what I mean? I wanted to get what I wanted to get out of it, but I didn't get through that. You know, I, you know, to be being on social media for over 10 years. It's like you can't find a place anywhere in this, like, in this, in this land without getting fucking penalized. So that's why we come on here, at least, when we come on here, it might just give us a bit of that motivation to say, you know what, I'm actually taking a bit from what uh, Calvin's doing, or I'm taking a bit from what Faris is saying, or, you know what I mean? Just little things like that trinkle a difference, because you actually, there's a, there's a speck of hope, which is, which is the now, which is making a decision now to say, you know what, I'm actually going to do what works for fucking me. I've been, I've been trying all this shit, I've been trying to go with your guidelines, and it's still not fucking good enough. It's like, yeah, what exactly. What you you gotta take. It's like you gotta take those chances. You gotta take those magical chances. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like the shit that 
a lot of times the stuff that people talk about on the internet it becomes it sounds the idea of it looks so good and it sounds so good but at the same time it's like i think people be so aware of like being in that awareness of knowing like well i don't need to get my hopes up but your hopes you can't you really can't get your hopes up you just we just gotta get our hopes up and keep them there because mm -hmm. we can we can make this whatever we want to make it like we mm -hmm. it's it's us that's in control of the energy like we can make this shit whatever the fuck we want to make it like i meet up i meet up with it's a group of people that i don't speak about as much but for the group of people that i do meet up with that i do meet out of these meta realms whether it's facebook instagram youtube wherever it's at it is a large population of people that I have met off of here that I've done plenty of business with. Mm. I've hired, we've worked on projects. Like I've met a ton of people off of this app and have utilized them, you feel me, in my journey. So that's why I say like, if, like if you coming on here or if you're going into the liquor store or if you're going to the gas station or you going to the mall, whatever the fuck, wherever you put your energy at, you in control of how you want to transmute that energy. Like, what's your purpose with this energy? Like, I could just be on here, like, talking shit. I could mm. be on here promoting podcasts. Like, if I want the followers, and I, if I want to make this a thing to where I'm making money socially, I know a lot of ways where I could just do that. But I don't, that's not my interest. My interest is different. Like, I, like when I come on here, I don't like followers. I like supporters. I like people that interact. I like people that don't just sit there and stare at you and make the experience even more weirder. Cause it's already weird being on social media. So I'm like, you feel me? I'm like a person to be like, look, y'all. I know y'all used to operate in a certain type of way when y'all get on social media, but when you when you stop over here, you're gonna get a different experience. Like, you know, so it's just like. I had to be that way because when I was just here, I was getting caught up in the bullshit. I was getting caught up in the just scrolling, trolling. I'm inviting everybody that I grew up with to follow me and I'm not even knowing. You know, I'm just, I'm figuring, I'm, and then I was like, hold on. I think I didn't got to size myself with this shit. I think I need to make me another social media page and do this shit different because. I, I think it's too late now. I didn't follow too many motherfuckers. I got too many motherfuckers. I didn't let follow me that I know and grew up around. Like, no, nah, this ain't working. I got all of this mixed in, and I'm trying to sell this, and I'm trying to prom And I got motherfuckers coming on there calling me from my neighborhood name. I'm not. Nah, let me no. Nah, let me do a whole another page. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> like, you just gotta know. You just gotta learn these environments. And then just go from there. And like the only way we could really learn is if we get out here and get into some shit. Like, man, I didn't want to really be no truck driver. Like, like as much as I, I didn't want to be a truck driver no more than I wanted to explore the land. So when I, when I had became a truck driver and I was driving the trucks, part of that was, okay. I could drive these trucks and I could see the world. I could see the country. And I can go into Canada and Mexico. I could see shit for what it looked like, for what it is. See, I always, like, I always had a whole lot of intentions when I did stuff. Like, even, like, when I took on, like, you know what I'm saying, like, jobs and shit, it was, it was another motive behind it. And sometimes, a lot of time, I couldn't even tell people because, like, people just... That like they, I was talking another language when I would have like a plan, you know. Like, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go drive these trucks because I'm saying all this in my head. Like, okay, I'm driving, I can make money, and I could be seeing the whole country at the same time, seeing what this shit really look like, seeing what areas is really populated. Like, I could really, cause I'm all I got in my mind is a a fucking globe. A map. That's all I got in my mind. The shit that we've been, that they've been projected to us. You hear me? So the programming is real. Cause, 
Like, if only thing they ever project to you is just a fucking globe or a ball or a map, how do you really get that vivid vision of, like, what the land really looked like? So that's why I'm like, oh, this shit don't feel the same as, like, looking at a map or looking at a globe. When I start like driving around, I'm like, I'm looking, I'm like, what they mean it's overpopulated? What they mean it ain't no, I'm like, it's a whole bunch of fucking, you probably could, everybody, you probably could fit half of the population in Utah or in Nevada. I'm like, it's, it's so much, it's just so much land everywhere that's just like untouched. Yeah. So, yeah. Where I'm at, like where we are now with this shit, bro, it's like, I think it's, it's like, it's like, uh, yeah, go of course. Yeah. It's nothing wrong with the, I don't think it's nothing wrong with the people. I think they just, a lot of them just haven't caught up to, to like being able to see shit from other dimensions. Like they just really like, they like they just stuck where they at. They stuck stuck where they stuck at and have become conditioned to that shit. You know, and the conditioning is real. Like when we used to when we used to deal with stuff, it was more of a outcry and an outpour for people to try to get people into places and programs to where they can come out of these conditions to, that's not conducive, like that's not productive. But now it's like that's not the goal. It's like, you know, every fucking where you look, it's like, that's what's being promoted. Everything is sexualized. So it's like, you really have to, like, you really have to just look at this shit now and just be like, man, let me get out the way. Let me move out the way. Let me get over here. Because this shit is the, this like, I feel like I'm in a real apocalypse now. Like, I didn't look at this shit like this like four years ago. Like, but now I just feel like, like this is really a fucking apocalypse, like, like for real, wow. Um, and uh, and and it's sad, man, because a lot of people they just totally unaware about energy for real and how it really works. Like a lot of people, they think stuff just work off of it's just happening. Like like they really don't understand. Like black, especially black people, bro. Like my people, like they really don't know shit about energy, bro. Like yeah. they really don't know shit about manifestation. Like it's it's basic shit that they really don't fucking understand. They really don't understand the the alchemists. Like they really don't like it's basic shit that might get them more life in life that they just don't have no interest in learning. Like something like bro, like I know what you mean and what you say when you be like people is just like so fucking this and that and like yeah they are like and even when you like. Even when you come at a person and you try to come to them in a higher intelligence, they go right back to try to talk about some hood rat shit. They are staying in the low. Or they talk about the government. Or they talk about, look what they doing over there. And look at this. Like, they never want to talk about solutions, bro. Like, these people are so programmed. It's crazy, fam. Like, I was just at my son's grandma's house. And I noticed that shit so, it was so vivid. Like, Everything she wanted to talk to me about, it was fear monger. It was about what what they was. It was about them shutting down the big three. It was about what the government talking about they gonna do. It was about, and I was just like, damn man, these people looking at me, how I'm looking at them, like, yeah, they different, and they probably looking at me like, yeah, he he different now. Mm -hmm. But the only difference is between those two. Mutual differences is that I'm okay with how y'all are. I can carry you. I can still carry my motherfucking weight and my energy and how how y'all are. But the way that I am and how I have evolved is such a problem to everybody. Mm. Mm -hmm. Me removing myself from shit is such a problem with everybody. <laughs> you you see what I'm saying? Like. Yeah. This shit is, this shit crazy, man. Like, yeah, and it's it's so deeply rooted, and we so programmed, we don't even notice. We don't even notice the contradictory all the time. Like, 
We don't notice the shit. And I get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get it. That's why I don't take offense to it. That's why I can still go out here and be in the ignorance and work around it, deal with people. Mm-hmm. And all of that. Because I see what it is. I, I have accepted everything that I'm able to work with now, whether it's an opposite person, an energy that's disagreeing or whatever it is, I get what I get it now. I have accepted it for what it is. So that shit right there is a big key right there too. Like yep. accepting this shit for what it is and moving moving forward and learning how to navigate through it. You know, like you know how like you would try to bring like you would try to bring a perspective or bring attention to something and people would be like, Well, no, it's not like that. I'm not gonna speak on my world to, to be you know, you're going to manifest that world to be like, like, now some shit is already manifested. Like, there's already things that are manifested that's been manifested that are going to take place. Destruction, <laughs> rebuild, then it's going to be more destruction, rebuild. Like, it's our, like, the ingredients for that to have to happen and take place has already been manifested. So, like there's no going back in time and unmanifesting that because like it's just it's going to just have to run its course and that's what i think people don't realize bro like some shit just have to run its course like it's already it's not about us manifesting things it's just about us preparing and navigating around what we don't have a pot like that's why i say like i already see what the fuck going on and i see what it is so I know I don't single-handedly have the power to just snap my fingers, so I'm a, I'm a, I'm a prepare myself for what I see, and the way I see that it's moving, the way that I see this going. I'm about to move. I'm about to counteract that. I'm about to move in the way that I feel like I need to move based off of like the energy around me and how I'm feeling and how I see shit evolving, like. You know, like that's just how I've always moved. Anyway, I've always moved. Like, I gotta, I gotta stop paying all, all these bills. I gotta start fucking collecting my own water. Like, like what is like? That's always been the plan. It's just being inside this entanglement. This is a fucking entanglement. Like, worn by these Americanized laws. You know, because everywhere you go, America pushes a piece of them on everybody. China got secret bases that they trying to put over in, in the United States. And it's just like, what's the big deal? Like, motherfucker, U.S., y'all doing that shit every fucking, every fucking where all over the world. Y'all got some type of base somewhere, some type of army set up somewhere. You see what I'm saying? Like, a lot of, you know, a lot of the bullying, a lot of the bullying, man, a lot of those motherfuckers or, or whoever these, whoever these entities are, uh, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know what these entities are. It might just be, it might just be because we not doing the fuck we need to do. The you know, it might not even be a fucking fit. It might even be a physical motherfucker that's in charge or nothing for real. Like it might just be like because we not working together more as a collective. It just might only fucking be that. It might not even be no, no, no physical entity at the forefront of none of this shit. Like. You feel me? Because it's like there ain't no one motherfucker with with just like the power or just like one family because it's gonna always be another family that's like, man, fuck them. Who the fuck is they? Like, you know what I'm saying? So I don't feel like I don't feel like it's just like an entity behind this shit. I feel like it's manipulated by a smaller group of people to make it look like you know what I mean? Like Yeah. Yeah, that's what people miss the point with. They're too indulged in the, too indulged this unicorn fantasy. You know what I mean? You know, I, I, let me ask you something. What are all these books that we had, yeah, since the beginning of time, right? People that wanted to go out and change shit, right? Martin Luther King, Che Guevara, all these people, right? Now, don't quote me, like, don't get me wrong. You take the tools from it to better your life. But what's happening before our very eyes? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, Shutting down people that want to promote and want to make books and whatnot. I mean, it's it's, ins- it's inspiring to be inspired by a new idea. But look, what the fuck? Like, 
we're charading out here. Like, what the fuck? It's, it's, it's us against them. That's it. Simple. So how are you going to create something that's going to protect you? That's what we should be asking. <laughs> it's, it's insanity, man. It's like... It's like <laughs> you're doing the same shit, but we're looking for different results. You know what I'm saying? Like, same shit, different results. That's it's how crazy, they bro. It, That's how Like, I'm glad you spoke on that Martin Luther King because I want to add to that. Yeah. You know... Every time January roll around, I think that's when his birthday is in January. You know, you get all these people. Oh, it's Martin Luther. Oh, they on this Martin Luther King vibe, right? Mm. Then in February, you got Black History Month, right? Everybody happy and excited about Black History Month, right? Mm. But all the shit that Martin Luther King stood for, y'all do, y'all, y'all, that ain't what y'all stand for. So what the fuck y'all, like, why are we so excited about Martin Luther King? Y'all don't like niggas. He was saying, love your brother and love your motherfucking neighbors. Y'all, that ain't y'all, y'all ain't on that type of time. Y'all, y'all, y'all don't like motherfuckers. Y'all don't even like to talk to motherfuckers. Y'all like to troll motherfuckers. Like, y'all scared to use y'all voice. So it's like, why y'all like to motherfucking put him up on this test? And, but you don't want to live by none of those values or morals? You, like, you don't, you don't want to live by those values or morals. It's propaganda. He said, where is our history that? It's all propaganda. See, they give us a little Black History Day. They make a motherfucker. Oh, we we the only ones with Black History Month, y'all. Yeah, we going out. We turning up. Yeah, nigga, I got thrown on deck in Hennessy, nigga. Pull up, nigga. We ain't shooting no niggas this month, nigga. We ain't killing the ops this month. Man, it's all propaganda. Mm. It's all bullshit. <laughs> like, for real. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're also focused on like fucking like don't get me wrong man because this shit exists in the other planes right but you're missing the whole fucking point of the equation it's right in front of you every day you can sit you can sit there and quack me about fucking alien uh, ducks and i don't give a fuck right but the but you're seeing the shit take place oh uh someone died on a motorway or a, a highway or some shit or something crazy going on what are we doing when we're up against that? You know what? Mm. I've been seeing this shit since before I could, like, I was able to register it, but I was like, it was still like, <laughs> I could read. <laughs> so I'm around this bitch reading shit now. You feel me? First, second, third grade. I'm able to read shit now. So so I'm just like, every time this letter came through the mail that said, have you seen me with a kid face on there or with a woman's face on there? And every now and then, it'd be like a man. A man. But most of the time, it was a kid on there. And it said, it, was, it's, it, it came on a little postcard every day. Because every time I see the mail, laying around or rather the mailman came and gave it to me or whatever it was it always was a postcard with a different person on there have you seen me so mm. when i think back and i look at like in 20 while they was waiting to unveil this whole uh c19 shit in 2020 up to that point like, I remember just sitting back and just looking at this shit starting in, like, 2017, 18. I was like, mm -hmm. I started really paying attention to media. I was like, this shit is literally a Truman show. Like, they literally 
keep a story at the forefront to keep people distracted based on what type of crowd they dealing with. So I'm like, okay, you know what? I said, these motherfuckers is really out here on some bullshit. Because I was like, okay, they got this. This, this, and that. But up to that point, they was distracting us with the um, with the kidnappings. Mm. And then when 2020 came around and they uh, they released this this C-19, mm. they just totally stopped fucking talking about all of the fucking the white vans that was pulling up and snatching up women. They was they just totally stopped talking. And I was just like, like after like a couple of weeks or a month went by into like that C-19 shit in 2020, I was like, I was like, so these motherfuckers, they really just, they really just turned the switch off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they really just <clears throat> made, they, like, I just literally saw the, sh the shift, like, so they literally just made motherfuckers stop being concerned and stop being cautious and stop being worried. Like, I was just looking at, like, how much control media literally had over society. I was like, media really plays a fucking role. As much as people are in denial about it when they into these media worlds. Like, social media, TV, radio, anywhere where media is coming from. That shit got an impact because people literally stopped talking about the kidnappings and the van sales. Like they literally stopped talking about it. Cause I was like, well, like I'm I'm like, damn, I don't even want to sit back. Like, like this shit still going on. I'm like, they still snatching motherfuckers up. Cause I literally was going, I was literally going online and looking at like I was looking at the statistics still, like. How many motherfuckers still get snatched up? And I was just looking at like recent reports that was being made from people that was like coming up, like people that was steadily coming up missing, like still in that time when when everybody was like distracted. I was like, damn, this shit's still going down crazy. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, no, it's a we got a much bigger problem than all of these fucking problems. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, mm. they really. They really got people programmed and they really is controlling people's emotions and curving people enthusiasm through media. Like, like from a from a way that I had never like paid attention, because I was looking at all this, I was looking at how like it seemed like it's always something major in media going on. And I'm like, why that be going on? They be doing other little shit. They be preparing to come up with shit like the lockdown. Cause I was looking at that shit in 2018. I'm like, okay, they got us, they talking about all this bullshit with R. Kelly and motherfucking Bill Cosby. Like I, I remember all that shit. And then it was some other shit that had happened. It was just different shit that was going on. I was like, man, it's always, they always got some fucking type of little bullshit ass distraction up. And then boom, here come the other, here come the shit that you ain't even, you you ain't even motherfucker had time or didn't even goddamn think to prepare for. Like, mm -hmm. like, damn. You know, like it's always some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. motherfucking airplanes, airplanes hit the World Trade Centers. That was in 2002. I'm in high school. You feel I'm in I'm in high school, bro. You know how, like, do you know how we felt then? Like, you know how long I've been seeing this shit, bro? Like, this was when I was in high school, bro. Like, can you imagine some fucking airplanes just crashing to, some, like, like, I'm just, I'm just looking at this shit like, man, all of this shit is crazy that didn't happen. So I can already see, like, just based off of, like, how shit going still, the next 10, 15 years, 20 years to come. Man, it's a lot more bullshit to come. Like, <laughs> it is, it's, just, it's a lot more shit to come, man. Like, for real. It ain't no, like, this shit will never stop. You feel me? Like, this shit ain't never stopping. 
it don't matter how good these conversations get. That's why I be like, man, okay, whatever. Y'all motherfuckers yeah. keep sitting up here and acting and doing all that uh, trolling and bullshit and playing and okay, whatever. Because I got a long history of shit that constantly didn't happen and always happen. This shit is going to keep keep happening like clockwork. It's going to be some shit. If it don't happen this year or next year, it's going to be the year after. Or it's going to be the year after that. It's going to be some shit. Like over these next get coming of years, I'm telling you, it's going to be it's going to be interesting. I ain't going to say it's going to be tough. You feel me? It's going to be interesting, man. <laughs> So, my thinking in Vegas at that country concert, I don't know because you're in the States as well, uh, Calvin. I don't know if you you heard about, you heard about the Vegas. People I was looking at that. I just, like, I was looking at that. I was looking at the, the, the shooting and, and the Hamas, the Hamas, the Hamas shooting that happened in uh, Israel or wherever the fuck that was. I, yeah, that shit, I was looking at that. That concert, I'm just like, man. We live. I like. Do motherfuckers know? Like, we already in this apocalypse. Do they know we already in this war? Like, I like. I'm like. This ain't no Photoshop shit. This shit is literally in real fucking life on the land, happening somewhere else. You feel me? It was people. Man, there's people from all over this bitch that can that became random victims that even didn't even know they was about to die when they went there. You feel me? Yeah. Even if it was propaganda and plan, it was motherfuckers that went there that from the United States that didn't even fucking know they was going to die. You hear me? Kids, families, all oh man, mamas and daddies, daughters and moms. It was a concert. It was, man, the motherfuckers, man, look, that's because people don't understand, like, what type of, war. they don't understand, like, how serious and real this shit is still. Like, it's always going to be. It's never going. Chaos ain't going nowhere. What's 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 even more crazy as well? And uh, um, people like you come across people, right? And yeah, you just you just you you know you you you, you have conversations with them and all kinds of stuff, right? You then you then you then call them out, or you then call out the bullshit, or or if they call out the bullshit, whichever way it works, they then disappear. Then start coming back and trolling you again, because they've been caught out. They made out that they were all this like, oh, you know, this this person that was actually, you know, you know, had genuine intent, right? But you're being fooled even on uh, energ energetic. So, so if it goes from it goes from, as above so below. It's energetic, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Like heal the chakras, Mand that's 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 compulsory. That's man mandatory, right? Mandatory that you work on them chakras. You work on healing yourself, right? But if you're just gonna if you're just gonna have this big status quo, right? Or you just or you're a person on social media or talking on the PlayStation or Xbox or whatever, just people that you associate with, and you're not gonna add intrinsic value to my time. Fuck right off, because you're just you're you're derailing what we're supposed to be focusing on. I don't mind if you want to troll and have a laugh, but what, trolling and have a laugh on the expense of the world fucking suffering? Trolling and have a laugh on the expense of, like, the Twin Towers that Calvin was mentioning? That, that's a fucking joke, man. So, yes, have a laugh, because all you can do is laugh shit off. But, but be sincere, mate. Don't fucking troll. Don't, don't fucking... Don't, not around me, anyway. Even if I experience it and you want to troll, that's cool. If you want to have a laugh, it's it's not a problem. There's there's no there's no there's no worry, there's no issue with having a balance. But th this is this is this is a war. This is a war. This is a spiritual war. This is a it's an energetic war, and it's also a physical war. So if we don't start putting in this work, then how are we how are we gonna how are we gonna how are we gonna feel protected, right? So it's it's always about putting putting out options to give people avenues. Not so much to change their uh, perception on things, but giving an alternative, like, like we, we you know, the, the population of mass hysteria having to do shit that they're not obligated to do. Mass hysteria, so paying bills, all kinds of shit. So why don't we take that emotional intelligence and with all these services that you have, start pouring it into um, 
yourself and start start building your own little uh, crib or whatever. Because all this, because all this narrative is going to one establishment, one area of you know area of fuckery. That they're imposing shit on us every day. Layers in our door, all kinds of shit. So, and you, and you wonder, and you, and you complain about it. You think complaining about it is going to do anything? You all, you know, you put out solutions, give people ideas, be like, you know, man, we've got this experience, but what are we fighting for? You see, they hallucinated the population to think that they're fighting for a good cause, right? A bit like War of the Worlds, right? You've seen War of the Worlds, where, the, you know, in Tom Cruise, the film with Tom Cruise, the alien invasion, and he was fighting against it on American soil. You know? But we're targeting our own people. We're targeting the population. Now, there's always going to be one motherfucker, that, like you said, that's going to try and knock down that fence. That's trying to tra challenge you. But if you're if you're ready and you have a grid and you have, you know, for the for the for the non-believers, for the for the people that have lost complete hope, they were they won't be able to suck on your energy. They're on a mission to to learn lessons. They're on a mission to do their work. You can't fucking do that work for them. As much as we try and preach about it, all we can do is give ideas and say, you know, it's up to you. all you know, it's up. To, it's up. It's up to. It's up to. It's up to how when, how you wanna how you wanna be fed by the information that you're getting and how you apply it and what how you transmute it. So that's that's all. That's all. That's all we need to be coming in terms in terms of like in terms of with. If that makes sense, that we can actually transmute this energy that we're getting. We don't have to give into it. And it's not. I'm not. I'm not suggesting because uh, you see protests every every day. So protests are just fighting, fighting the system to do what it's doing anyway. So if we gather the emotion and challenge, just think, how can we find a way around it? But do, don't troll and be sincere. This will actually manifest. But people are out, are out here like they try and lure you in. They try and lure you in just to derail what what what's supposed. So they're contradicting basically what they do, what they're saying, what they want to do. A lot of this spiritual community shit. So. But welcome in everyone. Thank you for joining. I think uh, Calvin lagged out, so um, I guess he'll, you know, wherever he's at, I'm sure he will um, he'll bump, bump back in. Um, but no, if if like I said, if you if you all want to say anything, feel free. Like I said, I'm really grateful you commenting as well, because yeah, it's cool. Doing this live is cool because you can interact and actually get shit. Don't play the polarization game. Don't pick a side. If you're going to pick a side, pick you exactly. That's just my thought. So when people talk about you, exactly, it's like it's always it's it's always working on your internal self, your internal growth, your internal self. That's that's the that's the main important thing. When you start giving into shit and you start complaining about the very thing that you contribute into, but you're not finding a way to transmute it, to transmute that thought, to transmute that the way you're thinking about it, you're always going to be at war with it. So you start to cancel everything else out. You start to cancel what we're supposed to be doing, how we're supposed to be gathering intelligence, so we can actually. You know, create our own little like safety net, if you like. You know, because the contribution is going so much on the fear element that people are starting to lose track. They're starting to lose track of like how they can, like I said, how they can transmute it, where they can put these areas. It's all about oh shit, I need to, I need, I need to do this, I need to do that, and then complain about why you're not getting the help. Complain about why, because you're giving into something. That's 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 a masquerade. It's 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 a bit like Eyes Wide Shut. Eyes Wide Shut, the film. If you all seen it with a uh, 99 something, I think Tom Cruise. It's like he, he infiltrates a secret society, like an orgy fest, secret society. The shit is happening, right? You know that's how they energetically control us through fear, through so energy is real. That's why I called this armored up because if this shit has this 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 is proven to have. I mean, people are talking about healing properties, healing. Um, you know, and protection, uh, utmost protection from from energy, um, because even if you're not physically, um, you know, around beings, you're all, you're being fed by the environment. So when you know more about protection, you know, if you're already grounded, you, you're protected. But this gives you like a boost. It's nice. That's why I called it armored up because this shit, this shit that we we're dealing with is spiritual possession. It's spiritual possession on on so many levels. It's 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 demonology to its highest. Well, de demonology is controlling the the balance of the universe, the demon the demon realm, the demon 
the, the lower the lower underworld frequencies is what's do, is, is polarizing or do, dominating everything um if you like yeah because there's no balance so, now we can't go and instruct people we can't go and instruct people with with no balance to tell you know we can't that's just that but it's what like Calvin was saying it's how we transmute it it's how we move around it so that you're unaffected it's a bit like playing Silent Hill 4, right? I, I love that game. That game is crazy. Let me just answer your questions and then I'll get in, I'll get into that point now. Um Days of Thunder, laugh my fucking ass off. Um since Tom Cruise wants to play different people, you can too. Exactly, yeah. Exactly. Well that well that's when you put energy into your own Merkaba in your own to 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 field, yeah. So like the moving energy, the left, right moving energy. I get you. Yeah, the Merkaba star. Absolutely, that's why I got me, got me one of these. But no, I was yeah. The I always love making these points, and I know I regurgitate them so many ways. But Silent Hill Four was amazing. I mean, I, I definitely recommend that game. I enjoyed it. But it taught it. It gives you a a perfect um a picture of uh, or it paints it paints a perfect picture of how we're trapped. So you so you, you wake up in this in your apartment and you're like, why the fuck is my jaw chained shut? Why can't I get out? Why doesn't anyone outside know that I exist? What, what's going on? And that's what it feels like in this world. You're putting out all this energy. You're putting out all this energy, and no one's hearing it. No one's hearing your scry your cries. No one's hearing your Dante's Inferno. No one's hearing it. It's an it's 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 hell, right? So. Things start to get more strange in the apartment, right? Things start to get more strange. I think I played that game many years ago. I'm not a huge gamer. They wow. Well, that tells us something then, little bird. At least you've had experience with it. Um, so you all know what I'm t saying if you played it. Um, but y'all that haven't tried it out, I'm uh, yeah. I'm, I hope I'm putting it into like a good little con uh, detail for you. So you hear a, you hear a, you hear a loud bang in 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 the, in the bathroom. And I'd, you know, I'd, I can't remember the order of how shit went, but you go into the bathroom, which is the place of like, you know, to get to get rid of toxins, right? Um, oh, hey, Mr. Secrecy, thanks for joining, bro. Yeah, man, nice to have you up in here. Um, so you you hear that, you know, and it creates a huge, a huge tunnel, right? A huge, massive tunnel. So yeah, I just accepted your request, but Instagram was some fuck shit, bro. So don't be surprised if they're just playing. But um, that 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 that's a that's a that's a that's a large rabbit hole, and it just continues going like right. And you get out, you get out of that rabbit hole, and you you're in a completely different reality, completely different reality. Shit is crazy, man. I think he's loading, loading, he's loading. I think we have you know buffering issues, Instagram, Instagram issues. But where were we at? Where were, where were we at? Sorry, we got a bit distracted there. Um, so yeah, um, you you come back home and your house gets more haunted, more haunted. It basically, um, yeah, yeah, exactly. But in a game, they they really I know they exaggerate it in art, but it's all energy. Um, so you go back to your apartment, it gets more haunted. Demons start coming actually, trying to come out of the fucking walls. It's fucking mental, like. That shit is fucking crazy, man. It's like, what the fuck? And then, as you as you're going through the game, you pick you go you come across like holy candles, right? And you come across pendants and all kinds of stuff. But that that holy candle keeps the the demons away, like just at bay. You know what I mean? Keeps them away. That's why the holy, the you know, um, that and that's what that this is what this is this is what brings me back into these these um. This armored up title I named this, you know all the stuff that we're wearing here. It's re it's protection. J just just to summarize what I just to summarize it, or just to you know get to the get to the bottom of what I was saying. Really protect ourselves. You know, so you know spiritually but also physically. 
learning these different skills. Because once shit happens, we can learn to move around it. That's as simple as it gets. That's as simple as it gets. So, yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Um, I hope I covered everything there is to cover, really. We've been, well, how long have we been streaming so far? One hour. I appreciate everyone that's stopped by. Thanks for fe uh, stopping by Feather May, everybody. I think it's just fine. It's synchronous is finding hard, up, hard to connect at the moment. Um, let me try to see if I can invite him again. Yeah, I think it's just connection issues. Just throwing people out and shit. Let me let me see if I can invite Carbon again. Um. Okay. Um. And okay. Protection comes from within. Putting on stones and crystals and whatever you may feel helps uh, assist you in wonderful. But the strength has to come from within. Yeah, exactly. So exactly. So that's that's what gets get, brings back to one of those points. Um, chakra awakening, chakra healings. Um, even when I mentioned earlier, when you're already grounded, exactly. So being grounded is the important thing. But yeah, absolutely. Um, when I talk about armored, armored up, it's like your your armor vest, if you like. So yeah, well, 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 good point you just made there. Just to really elaborate. Yeah, obviously that's your protection within. Absolutely, but um, yeah, I was yeah I was talking about it from a, um, a magical uh, perspective, <laughs> an energy perspective as well, um, because sometimes even being that higher wed person, you can still get fed into things. So it's all about just trying to protect that energy. Um, so that's that's where these come in, I guess, if if that's a good way to put it. Well, they threw me out like three times. I just keep coming back. Well, oh yeah, it, it, that it does it does all kinds of fuck shit. It does all kinds of fuck shit. Like Instagram is some fucking next level, next level um, issues, for sure. Well, that's what I'm talking about. We are electromagnetic beings. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, so thanks for elaborating on that. Thanks for elaborating on that. But yeah, that pretty much applies in every other area. You know that that applies in, you know, learning certain skills so we can like generate our own survival. Um, that that's a big part because then you can just. You can just um, you can manage you can manage moving around without any hinge, without having to feel oh shit, you know. And that's what I need to get on. And um, whenever I get around to it, I'm just I'm just uh, I'm just putting all this time, putting out all ideas, <laughs> and just chilling out really. Um, but I definitely need to learn these these different dimensions because that that will definitely be a that'll definitely be a big help to to survival in this. You know, a, a never-ending cycle of like just problems and problems and problems that happen everywhere. So it's definitely, definitely, definitely what we can start applying. That'll be that'll be good for the planet. That'll be good schooling for for, for the planet, for the schools, for the colleges. You know, all this stuff. They're they're, they're just putting shit on, postponing stuff, just keeping shit on bay, keeping shit at bay. All this all this energy, keeping shit at bay, keeping shit at bay. What are we doing to preserve it? What are we doing to preserve it? You know what I mean? Dimensions start within. I feel, yeah, precisely. So yeah, we could as as absolutely. So that's why you got as within, so without, as without, so within as well. You know, you get all these like terms, um, terminologies and stuff like that. But um, yeah, like it's it's like you said, it's when you within yourself, so you be becoming more in tune. So that you can actually go out and apply different multidimensional realities. You're not fed by a by by a faff about structure, which just want to postpone and put hinges on things. So that's why you said, like I said, further, it's about being within, uh, socially aware within, you know, because then you can start to move around whatever fucking comes your way. You know what I mean? Then we can work on that. I mean, look at look at games like The Last of Us or the movie The Last of Us, for instance. Um, let me just read your comment. It's not hard to be authentically you come from your heart space. All this dimension and all this crap. I don't know. It tends to complicate it. I absolutely, absolutely, yeah. I absolutely, um, I'm yeah, absolutely with what I was saying. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And that's what they do. They 
they make things difficult to attain. Like I, you watch a guy called um, Austin Go uh, on YouTube, and that he talks about all ways to naturally be heal, like certain um, certain symptoms, right? So whether it's a migraine or whatever, just doing natural tappings and things like that, and it works. It does work. I've tried it on myself for certain, and I felt certain um, things. Um, you know, when you get cramps as well and stuff like that. So we tend to overcomplicate something and tend to go in and out. Like, don't get me wrong. You get great, great, really, 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 really intelligent surgeons and doctors and all kinds of stuff. But we're, we're, we're tending to, to put, hold, put things that, like, just hold things back. Hold things back, hold things back. And we're not able to move around shit because they're, 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 tra they're, they're getting us to support in, to something whilst all the chaos is happening. So how does that work? You're putting all the, you're putting all your energy, whilst all the chaos is happening. So you just contribute into the chaos because that money you don't even know what the fuck is what the fuck you know the money's controlling you, but also it's um, it's also it's like a problem upon a problem. The problem was created like like David Dyke says, problem reaction solution, but it's always a problem and a problem. So the problem was created. Then they, then they, then they, they expect they expect everyone to do their work. You then do their work so that they can support more of the problem, because they're trapped around this like fucking illusion. They're trapped in this illusion. You know what I mean? So once you start to know the game of that, you start to put things together. You start to start, to, you know, you start to see things differently. What's up, brother? What's yeah. up, Sigurdsson? How, how's it going, man? Not long time. Yeah. <laughs> Nice to see you, man. Can you see me? Yeah, I see you. I see you. Um, cool. I can't see you. Instagram's doing some weird shit. You, you, I'll show up after the live. So even if they shut this down, they'll, they'll, they'll show it anyway. But yeah, go ahead, go ahead, man. We'll, I'll let you take the panel if you, if you want to go in. No, I just want to kind of chime in with what you're saying about. Uh... Well, let's go back to the video games. I, th I had a really good thought there. You know how you can kind of find yourself in a, a similar situation um, to a simile? Yeah. Um, like, wow, I, I can really identify with that. Sometimes it does feel like I got a chain around my face and no one's hearing me. Yeah. Uh, I'm not being seen or heard. It's just like, at, at what point do you separate from trying? Like, to even try like, to just go so far within that you don't you don't really give a shit anymore you're just like okay well let me find things here on the exterior world and nature and ground that that resonate with me because when I do that there's there's no there's no limitation there's no bars or barriers it is always there I'm looking for it I find it like you know what I mean like what, 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 and you're kind of all wrapped up in in the societal form of fear, and it's all fear based. Then your mind your mind is cloudy consistently all the time. You can't really you can't become relative to like, your neighbor to, to love your neighbor. Yeah. Right now, I'm dealing with uh, a landlady who decided to move in um, after I was signed a lease, and that completely. Cancels my contract, and, uh, and she's still here doing that. Mm. And uh, then she wanted to serve me eviction papers because she doesn't like me. I'm oh. like, okay, mm. okay. So we're going to court, and uh, she decided to change the lock on the door, not give anybody any, uh, the code or anything. And then she took all my food out of my cabinets and put it out on the curb, and like did a whole bunch of illegal shit that she wasn't. Doing. Legally able to do so, and took videos and everything. It's just like you know, how do you, how do you, how do you connect with a person like that that's so against you and and everything you've got going? On? Even willing to give you an eviction to complicate your future in such a detrimental way. Shit. Shit. You know what I mean, like, how do you connect with somebody? Like I try, I try to, I try to dig deep into her past and like, okay, well, maybe you had a really rough childhood. Maybe your parents didn't love you enough. Like, I don't know. Mm. But to like to go out there, you know, and she's a real estate agent or whatever. She's well to do. She's got multiple vehicles, multiple properties. 
she should be happy in her own shoes, but it just seems like she's not. She's bored. She must have fucked with other people's lives. Like, how do you connect? How do you connect with somebody like that? There's such a separation from like my energy, my love, and like I play music. I'm into the frequencies, and I like to keep a nice environment around me. And then I got this poking. <laughs> No. No. What? <laughs> what the fuck? Right. Yeah. Man, so mm. so I did what I did. I got evidence and we'll go to court and uh I've got people telling me it's a class action lawsuit. She's done this to multiple people. She was evicting somebody when I moved in. Mm. Uh, I've got I've got multiple people, uh, I've got excellent character references of who I am and how I am and they're willing to write letters to the judge if this was to a class action lawsuit. Um, and, and yeah, it's just like, it's like her against the world and she just would like it to be that way. She just prefers it that way. She doesn't want to be anybody's friend. Mm -hmm. You know, like, how do you connect with somebody like that? Because it's just, it's, you, you know, and yeah. like, why, why me? Why am I the lucky one? Mm. I get to, I get to, this. I get to transmute this energy. I get to try to manifest something beautiful out of something so lovely. Why me? Mm. Mm. And it ties me into what I was saying about uh, possession and things like that. I think I think it's 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 you know we hear all about all these all these ETs, right? Mm. So so like you hear about all these ETs, but it's like people are them ETs. Like you see it on so many lives, it's crazy. So like, but they took like that's what Satan does. That's what. That's what the devil does. They they try to entice you with like uh, trinkets and shit, but then yeah, I mean that's all that's all cool and it's kind of null and void as far as I consider it because you have you have both light and dark within you. You have the potential to be a, a maniacal overlord or a peaceful loving being. Yeah, you have that potential. Everybody has that potential. It's what you choose to do with the energy that you're given. Mm. You know, just because you have a bunch of cars and a couple of properties doesn't mean that you have some sort of authority over another person's life and that you get to manipulate and contort the way that they're living and and fuck up their future just because you can't. You know, like you have a choice. You always have a choice. Like you can be a piece of shit or you can be a good person. Mm. What, how long did this, was this a recent thing that you've been dealing with or has this been going on? This for month. Yeah, this month. So uh, mm. I, go to, I go to court. Up, I go to court on the fifteenth, and uh, and everything will kind of be set in stone, more or less, so to speak. Mm. Um, and I'll be presented. I've already been in contact with the housing authorities and uh, and the mediators and, and everybody involved. And uh, the only person I haven't talked to is the judge. And I'm, I, for whatever reason, I feel in my heart of hearts that she's got some sort of connection with judges. Mm. I don't know. She's so, got some money to throw around, and, and she's tooting her own horn everywhere she goes. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I believe that I'm guarded, guided, and protected at all times. Mm. And I'm a fucking warlock, and you better not fuck with me. So we'll go to war with you if you want to, and I can have this house if I want to. So stand the fuck down. Mm. I got you on a lawsuit. I got multiple people. The whole community, this whole entire this whole entire cul-de-sac has nothing good to say about this woman. Since since she moved in and bought this place, it's been problem after problem after problem. And she wants to blame it on the tenants. Well, it seems like the history would be you, mm. not the people living here. The history and track record says you are the piece of shit. Mm. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna make that very aware. Mm. Have you have you thought about recording this? Uh, not necessarily IG lives, but just to keep a track record. Have you have you thought about? Yeah, we, we, yeah. go ahead. Absolutely. Every time she does something crazy, I pull out my phone and I record it. Okay. So I've got I've got those on my phone saved, time, dated, and stamped. Yeah, that's, that's all the evidence I need. Yeah, there's always the time, the date, the stamp. So boom, yeah, this was recorded in this date. And I say what I say in the video, and I, I present the evidence, and I need to say more. It is what it is. Well, I send you, so. I, I send you my healing energy, my friend. I'm sure the people in the chat have got you. 
What are you hearing? I'm actually, I'm actually, in a great, I'm actually in a great mood. Um, and like, I had a great morning. Did some meditation. Okay. Uh, I listened to this meditation called the Temple of Vishnu, and it was just like really melodic flute playing and some uh, Hindu singing in the back, and wow. had a great morning. And I just felt safe and guided and guarded and protected. And uh, I went and got a, uh, I got some food from the store down the street. And it's been a great day. I'm just, you know, the 15th is coming up in two days. So I'm just trying to reserve my energy and stay away from her because she'll probably try to press my buttons and get me to do something and to react. And I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. She's got no evidence on me. Like, she literally called the cops, brother. She called the cops, and the cops told her, he hasn't done anything illegal. I can't take him to jail. And she said, well, at what point, how bad does it have to get? What does he have to do before I can kick him out on his ass? And the cops looked at her and said, that's like asking me at what point can I shoot someone? Oh, my God. <laughs> she's trolling. <laughs> so they're clicking on. They know that. She, that she's trolling yeah. the police department. She's fooling the police yeah, department. She's, she's a solid troll. Dude. She's a solid troll. And even the cops, that's that's in their police report. And I can pull that in the case hearings. When I go to the hearings, I'll be like, yeah, this is definitely what's going on. And, and you know, and it's, it's there. Hmm. Hopefully they put that in the, in the report. That, you know, she's just fishing for the reason to get me kicked out. Because yeah. she doesn't like me. Bro, you're in a she's good board. You're in a good place. That You don't need to. I mean, like you said. Even even feathers uh, mentioning here and sounds shamanistic. Which is my favorite meditation besides tuning forks and sound bowls? I mean, I know you're into all that universe because you 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 told me about frequencies and whatnot. But um, just to add to your point, bro. Um, oh look at that! Look at this! Look at that! Wow, bro! I need to I need to get myself some Oregon crystals for uh, sorry pyramids for sure. I need to get me some. Wow. So piece of bismuth right there. I got this cool little doohickey. This thing's cool. Oh, it's cool as fuck. I like the idea of that. I like it's like a it's like yeah, a viral. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, my, my organ pyramids um, definitely kind of lock down my energy in here. I'm a Cancer, so you got the six nine with the amethyst sphere, and then shout out to and then this guy. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, nice. You got the Suriyancha, my golden pyramid. Mm. And then I got this little top, but it's balanced. So this is hematite, but that is, it's magnetized. Mm. So, and it's a heart shape and I could take, I could actually take this off and then get the magnet off there and spin it at the top. But I just, I just like the idea. It's like the spiral, the, the toroidal field and, and keeping all the energy spinning. Mm. So yeah, I, I'm doing, I'm doing all the work. All the work. Wow. So did you, some, did you make a lot of these? No, I didn't make any of these. Oh, but it's still cool to even have, or just, it's as if you even like, because the thing is, even if you buy something that resonates with, with the universe and resonates with you, it's still a part of that, of that universe. The only thing that people are doing Absolutely. is just their own versions, but it's pretty much all near the same thing in regards to protection. I got, I got my big ass turquoise pendant today with the uh, I love uh, it. tiger's eye. Wow. And my red jasper, and this the red jasper has like quartz inclusions in it that are like star shaped and stuff. So yeah, this is like it's my power pendant right here. Just I'm putting all my energy into uh, making sure this goes smooth. I already have multiple outstanding character references willing to write letters on my behalf, telling the judge that I'm a good person. I already have people looking for places for me to live for me. Like I don't have to do anything. I'm I got guarded, guided, and protected. Mm. And I'm a fucking warlock. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> I love how I love I love I love the thing about even being what you said about your star sign. You're very emo like your what that water that water Pisces Scorpio and Cancer all have that emotional yeah. side. So I really appreciate yeah. you coming on here and actually just telling us or telling you your your story, man. Um, yeah, well, it's really I appreciate you for kind of opening open the gates. To me. Uh, hey, I appreciate Uncle Instagram for allowing me to be on live for once because I've been shadow banned for quite a while. So, hey, thank you, Uncle Instagram. I, I'm grateful for you too. 
fucking <laughs> idiot. <laughs> Yo, what's happening? My my boy Blue Gamma's in the building. What's up? Go and check out his beats. I told you, remember uh, Logan? I told you to check out Gamma. Well, Gamma and the beats and stuff, music. Because I was playing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, man, he's he's joined. What's up, my brother? He does some good beats. Okay, I'll give him. I'll give him a follow. Yeah, go check him out. Uh, and his and his brother, I mean, brother uh, Lord Apocalypse as well. Amazing, amazing band, and the whole brothers as well. They do, they do like martial arts and stuff. Really good team, really good stuff that they do. I really like their music. Very conscious, very intergalactic, very, very in depth with the tall field and all that stuff. Deep in the rabbit hole, shit, man. Deep in the rabbit, and it's you can tell in the in the frequency that you, you feel different frequencies. You feel frequencies that they that they put on the beats that are very like. Like you, you feel it. You feel all aspects. You know, high, high, high vibrational stuff, low vibrational stuff. It all hits different. Um, I know that's your field because I know you do frequencies. So um, yeah, well, yeah. I tune. I, I've been playing guitar since I was twelve. I calibrate the tuner to 132 hertz, 130 feet, just mm. because that's the natural resonance of. Of humanity is 432. So after World War One, there was this Nazi dude who came over and made the standard tuning for all instruments and orchestras at 440. Now, if you take that to a semantic field, which is vibrating sound underwater, it do something. It's vibrating, right? It's it's resonating. 440 is utter chaos. And if you dial it back down to 32, it creates a beautiful standing melody. And everything is in unison and flux and flow together. So, so be well, careful what you listen to. Yeah. Everybody tune your instruments to 432. Won't change the world. Is would you say 440 is um now that you mentioned uh, so is is that like if you wanna like if if they they'd be putting like in like horror games, right? Like uh, it's like underworld vibrations. It's in, it's in everything. It's 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 most standard tuning to like okay, so like the the biggest bands, the biggest hit bands like Led Zeppelin, Nirvana, just to name a couple, they all tuned what was co supposedly a half step down. No, it was they were tuned to 432 hertz. It resonated with people. People loved it. It doesn't matter what was coming out of Kurt Cobain's mouth. It was the music that was being produced that was so influential to people and why they were such a great. Band. Mm. It wasn't a half step down. They were tuned to 432 hertz. Secret video. There you go. Go study it if you don't believe. It. <laughs> well, that's that's amazing, bro. I, I like. I you know it's it's good it's good that we have something to offer. You know what I mean? Because a lot of the time, people don't get me wrong. Like a lot of the, you know, we, you see all kinds of different spiritual community talk on here, but it all seems like it's just so disgenuine. You feel it sometimes. And and and, yeah. and 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 you know it's you know you know you know you're coming from a, a intentional body because you just want to put out the content but not lure it because a lot of people just try and lure you in, and that's 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 yeah. that's that's, that's this thing now nowadays they try and they, they want you to be a part of an occult or a part of a so it, it completely distorts your tall field and you know where you're going they're trying to take you out on another they're taking you out on another cul de sac. Yeah, they. It's like they grab a thought, they they create and grab a thought out of your mind at the same time, and then put you on a tangent mm. and try to get you to do some things you wouldn't normally do. It's exactly what it is. Yeah, it's just mind control. The CIA has been developing this stuff in, in America for it's like since the seventies. So they they've really figured out how to get into people's heads and to make them do things that you wouldn't normally do. Mm. Sure, man. So what have you been up to? How have you been? How have you? Oh. How's things been going, man? Good, good. Um, just playing music. Um, like I said, I have a, a couple friends that have offered up a place for me to live. Um, this dude named Ken, he has like a full-on bar in his basement with two pool tables and, and a whole sound system where you can sing karaoke, plug up your guitar, mic mics and everything. And he's like, dude, just come over. If you need a place to stay, stay here. Hmm. And I'm like, oh, so like, it's all good. And he's like, yeah, it's all good. Come over. He's like, just pack up the few things you have. I've got a room for you. I've got a bed for you. I've got a TV for you. You'll be all right. So the universe provides. And I, I don't know. Something about me wants to fight this crazy cunt. 
and I don't know why, but I feel like she needs to be put in her place and she needs to know that what she's doing is wrong. What she's done to all these people is wrong. Mm, mm, mm. If I can have a voice for that and I can be an af uh, affiliate of the truth, then I'm going to do it because somebody's got to do it. Somebody's got to do it. Well, Logan, I don't know. I'm, I usually share, when I, when I talk about good topics, I usually share that on my Instagram um and whatever socials so if you even want to use shit like this as a tool you can do um even if there's shit that you just let me know um no nah, I'm, I'm, I'm no problem if anyone wants uh said personal stuff they don't want putting out there but um no yeah you could What's use up, chief um, i'm just going to respond to this comment who are we talking about so i got a crazy landlady that's doing a bunch of wild stuff and uh, about to go to court with her so that's who we're talking about yeah it's yeah. She's still stuck in the loop, unfortunately, and I just don't know how to connect with her outside of going to court and getting the uh, the, the law involved. So that's that's where we're at. Mm. Yeah. Good to see you, by the way, Chief. That's uh, Chief Tyreek Amin. Um, he's a good guy. F uh, follow him, check him out. He's, he's always got good things to say. He's always pushing love. And uh, yeah, definitely. That's why they call him Chief. Man. He's, he's head honcho. I love that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Lord Gamma, my master, my, the master, the master's here. The master of beats. What's up, man? What's up, Lord Gamma? Yo, so well, yeah, for sure, bro. You know how it is. You know, y'all, y'all, y'all think, you know, people are not gonna be checking in on your music, bro. We got you, bro. All these people are too busy being sedated, man. So, it's it's good. I I I have I respect what y'all doing. So thank you for the music, the music world, because there's a lot of sedated shit out there, yo. So please, like, check out, check out Lord Gamma, check out, check out Conscious Music, because it's really rare. It's really rare in the art world that you get people that actually are telling you what what we can be doing, what we can be, you know what I mean? Instead of just all this sedated shit, all this bullshit that's yeah. going. Mm. And meeting my, <laughs> and beat my meets and meeting my beats. Oh, for sure, I love that rhyme. For sure, bro. Hey, Gamma, um, if you ever get a chance, go to the SoundCloud and check out Stimulus. And my name is Logan Fowler, if you need to type that in as well. But Stimulus, I created a, like a whole list of music in 2020 during the, uh, the Great Reset, is what I like to call it, the Great Reevaluation. So uh, check out that. Anything on there, if you want to collab or if you want to use some of that, I can send it to you. And uh, yeah, check it out. It's a lot of high-frequency, up vibe music. There you go. Log Gamma, you got you see no, because Log Gamma messaged me once and he said, um, if you got anyone, uh, Faris, just send them my way in that. There you go. Okay. You, got, you got Mr. Right. City there. Yeah. yeah, I can do that. Yeah, Mr. I'll show you some stuff. I got, I got one called uh, Robin's Revenge, and it it sounds like you're in a comic book. I love that song. It's it's a kind of EDM electronic, but uh, you'll get a vibe for it. I think you'll enjoy it. That, that's really cool. And even if he can utilize that in his beats. So if he's creating a Absolutely. beat. Absolutely. Anything, yeah. Anything on there, man. You just give me what you feel is fair, and you can use all that. It's it's free use. Free use. Go ahead. Oh. I want to see. I want to see. I, I'm looking forward to seeing to seeing to seeing what you're going to do while you're going to stop, because that'll be, that'll be amazing. Um, well, I'm going to get off here, and I'm actually going to. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do that right now with Lord Gamma, and I'm going to send him a couple links. I wish you nothing but the best. Peace, love, and prosperity. You Abundance, too. gratitude. You too, gratitude, man. Take care of yourself, Logan. Thank right. you, thank you, brother. Peace, Peace. My man, Logan, he just stops in. Thank you very much for that, Synchrony. We appreciate you, man. Yeah, absolutely. You are the manifester of energy, for sure, Logan. Gamma. That's what we always talk about. It all comes with the self. But no, um, like I said, if anyone wants to pop in, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap this up myself. If anyone wants to pop in, um, have a little chat or whatever. Feel free to request. Otherwise, I'm gonna um gonna be hopping out because we I don't know we've been doing um how long we've been on the uh, live for one hour fifty three minutes so far one hour fifty three minutes so um yeah I think I covered everything I needed to cover for this one at least but but um yeah just stay tuned and check out check out check out uh check out Log Gamma check it check out Logan uh, check out Calvin little feather shout out to little feather and various other um. Artists out there, me. Thank you very much, y'all. Appreciate, appreciate your time. All right. On that note, I'm going to end it here. Take care of yourselves. Peace.